Now, at the top of the show, we heard from Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill, who today announced Australia's permanent migration cap will be increased to 195000 for this financial year. She also said the government's focus was away from temporary migration to permanency and pathways to citizenship. For his reaction, I want to bring in senior fellow at the Institute of Public Affairs, John Roscombe. John, welcome to the program. I don't know about you, but I didn't see much in the way of debate about immigration and population policy during the election. This is quite an announcement. Well, that's right, Rita, and it's a short-term fix. The priority of the government should be on getting Australians who want to work into work. So, for example, we have two and a half million pensioners 3% of them work. In New Zealand, the equivalent number is about 25%. Uh, That would provide more than enough workers to cover this shortfall of 190,000 people that the government is talking about. But our tax arrangements discourage older people from working and the government has made some welcome steps towards encouraging, for example, pensioners into work, but they're very limited and it's short term. Australia runs the world's largest per capita immigration program for a developed country. But as the Federal Reserve in America said a few years ago, 20 years of record immigration growth has actually sent our per capita growth backwards. So what the government is doing is a short term fix. We should be prioritising Australians. And exactly as you said, Rita, None of this was discussed or any of the re-regulation of the industrial relations system was was discussed in the federal election. So where has the Labor Party been hiding? Why weren't they straight with the Australian people? And why don't they involve the Australian people in these discussions rather than just focusing on big business and big unions and big government getting together in Canberra and telling us what they've done?